I mean, the, the Federal Reserve's job is to is to set interest rates, that's what they say, and, and they do this in an effort to, to help the market. That's, <laughs> that's what they say they do. But let's just talk about this. Um, basically, there's two types of interest rates. There's artificial interest rates, which the Federal Reserve creates, and then there's just interest rates. If you've got um, money in your pocket, and you go and you put it in the bank, you put $500 in the bank, and then somebody else does that, and then another group does that, and another group does that, You've got millions of people putting money into the banks. So now the banks have lots of money. Okay, well when a bank, or all the banks, have lots of money in them, then they have lots of money to lend. Well banks then lower interest rates. They, the banks lower interest rates because they have lots of money to lend. If they didn't have lots of money to lend, they'd have higher interest rates because money is harder to come by. Okay, this is supply and demand, simple. Okay, but if banks do have lots of money to lend, what does that tell businesses and people who are entrepreneurs and everybody else? It tells them that these people have money. There are people out there that have money and they want to spend it. So then they borrow money from the banks at these low interest rates because this is the time to borrow when interest rates are low. Because they know people have money to spend. How do they know? Because the banks have lower interest rates. If they have lower interest rates, that means there's money to be spent. Okay? Well, they go and they borrow all the money, and then they build whatever they're going to build, whether it be houses or whatnot. But people do have money, and they go out and they take their money out of the bank and they buy it. Well, as that goes, then interest rates start to go higher because there's not as much money in the bank. Once people start saving again, interest rates go lower. That's natural interest rates. Here's artificial interest rates, okay? What happens with artificial interest rates is basically the Federal Reserve comes in and says, well, interest rates, we're going to push them down, down, down. But businesses, though, go, look at interest rates. I'm going to borrow, borrow money because people must have money because the interest rates are so low. I mean, banks wouldn't be loaning out, so banks are basically loaning out free money. And unfortunately, in our case, we've got Congress, Barney Frank, etc., telling people, telling the banks, you need to loan these people money whether they got good credit, bad credit, no credit, whatever, even during all during the same time when we really didn't have any money in the banks. So we're loaning all this money and loaning all this money and then eventually no one's really buying anything because there really wasn't any money in there. So we've created this huge bubble and then this huge bubble crashes. Okay? Well, what do they do now? Now they're saying we need to turn on the printing press of the federal, you know, the, 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 the treasury. And start printing all this money. This is what the Federal Reserve wants to do. It's just print all this money and, and then create it out of thin air and put it in there. Well, then that causes inflation. The Federal Reserve creates all these problems. All these giant uh, booms and busts are actually created by the Federal Reserve. That's it. You don't need the Fed to create interest rates. When interest rates occur naturally, they make sense.